Okay, so one of the most important things about retriever training is teaching marking. Marking is what retrievers do. They watch something fall and they go get it. What you want is your retriever to be really good at that. So this video is about marking. It's a marking drill that I use more than any other marking drill. And I think, I think you're gonna like it. Where the Ainge? Good. Sit. Out. Okay, so this is one of my favorite marking drills and one of the easiest to do and it requires less uh, help, let's say, because it doesn't require any help. And it's just a beautiful thing to do, to, and you can do it quickly and easily. And when you get inventive, you can really do a lot of nice work. Uh, I'm gonna use a white bumper for this because it's easier to see on the camera, but based on the lighting conditions and the height of the cover, you could use orange or white, which, whichever seems more appropriate. The concept is that you are with your dog and you're taking a piece of ground and doing many marks in a short period of time using the terrain and presenting a lot of different variations. So this would be a beginning version. Danger is not really adept at handling yet, so I can't use the advanced version yet. But this is, so this is a beginning example of what I call walking marks. Come on, Dange. Hey. Fetch. Fetch. Good. Sit. So step one is to say sit. And you're going to walk away and sit. So I'm going to make this short first throw very short just to get the idea. This is not complicated and many people do drills like this but I just want you to know it's very effective, very important and if you can do it correctly sit at, <clears throat> at this beginner level then you can gradually expand into massive difficulty in your in your marks. So the idea is you tell the dog to sit, then you're gonna throw. Now I'm not gonna, I'm gonna how I'm just gonna say sit and throw. The more advanced version would be sit and actually throw and shoot a bird if you if you want to. So it's it's based on the level of the dog, but so we're going to do today the beginning version. So, and when you say sit, you may want to enforce, reinforce the sit with the electric collar. So it's going to be sit, nick, throw. Back. When the dog gets it, good, that a boy, that a boy, good. You bring him back to the spot you were, heel. Sit, out, sit, and then you go to a new spot. Now, the whole time you're doing this, you're kind of looking around for interesting pieces of terrain, changes of cover, land water combinations, all manner of things. And <clears throat> the one restriction is that you can't get real long. I've discovered that a hundred yards 
is about as far as you can go because when you send your dog anything beyond that you may not they may not hear you when you send your dog and I've tried various things like putting a walkie-talkie near the dog and everything and it really doesn't work very well so this is a drill that you do in fairly close proximity to your dog now where he's a little farther away sit a little longer throw. Back. Good, that a boy. Good. Heel. Sit. 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 I'm mentioning a lot of key points and, and it may seem very academic or kindergarten style but they will come into play so now what I'm going to do here I've got a strip of cover so those last two marks were in the open grass this is going to be into the cover sit back good Sit. Very good. Out. Sit. Now this next mark is going to be through the cover. Sit. Good. Here. Atta boy. Here. Sit. Sit. So this next mark is going to be through some water. Sit. After you do this a while, and this will be something that's your, probably your most fun activity with your dog. But after you do it for a while, you and the dog are just going to have a beautiful time. Ready? Sit. Back. Okay, that a boy, that a boy, that a boy. All right. Excellent. Good. Good boy. All right. Sit. Sit. Out. So we've done open field. We've thrown in the cover, through the cover, across the water. And um, now I'm just going to mention this here. Sit. Once the dog is handling well, sit. Sit. Good. Stay right there. Sit. Once the dog is handling well, you can handle in this situation. I'm going to give you an example of it. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to say you could be here and throw a down the shore mark and the dog could be swimming past you and start to beach early, tweet, cast. You can use it that way. Don't jump to conclusions with a dog that's not handling well. So the possibilities are endless, but it's, this drill is only singles. You can shoot birds, you can use birds, you can use bumpers. I'm gonna do a little further one now that requires, that's a little longer mark. So you can see what that looks like. Remember you sit the dog, you walk out to your your throw where your fall is, you holler sit and throw. 
Come here. Heel. Sit. Sit. You get a little exercise yourself this way. Sit. Back. So this is a little land water combination. No big deal. But if you have a, a puppy that you're starting to teach marking, look at the wonderful things you can do you can give them many, many marks of all different types. And you don't need any help. You don't need anything but a field and a puddle of water if you can find one. So, and then as the puppy gets older and he learns to handle, you can increase the heel. Sit. Good. You can increase the level of difficulty. So, I have spent many, many hours doing this with every dog that I've ever had. It's just a, a great, fun way to advance a dog's marking. So stick with me here a minute. Got a message coming up that I want you to see. is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed.